Hi everyone, it's Yolanda. I'm back with another video and today we are announcing, I say we because Maddie's in here with me, she um, picked the names for me. We're going to be announcing the winners of uh, my most embarrassing moment challenge. Thank you so much to all of you that participated and that commented or left a video response. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was so much fun. I laughed my butt off. I, you guys have done some really embarrassing things. It was really fun to read and see and see the comments of other people reading and then encourage a lot of you to step out of your box and do a video. That was so much fun. Bless you, Maddie. So before I tell you the winners, I'm just going to show you. We have the baskets here, ephemera only, or if you didn't care, and then the book. If you didn't mind which one you got, then your name is in both of these. And then I did the ephemera first, and then I did the book. So um, while we were filming that, my camera died. Um, the phone was ringing. Aaron busted in the door. Just all kinds of shenanigans were going on in this place that um, I, I don't know how to splice videos. I can, I can put a video together on Windows Movie Maker from clips and add in you know, the little transitions or little subtitles, but I don't know how to split off a part of a video that you messed up. So I just said, forget it. Maddie, you can read the winners, uh, which I will tell you here in a second. Um, it was a super busy week this week. It was Valentine's. I got a new haircut. The hubby doesn't like it. Um, lost my glasses. Actually, we could go today. Um, thank you so much to all of you that suggested like where I like maybe they're at Michael's and yeah, no, they're not anywhere. I'm totally bummed. Uh, it was time for me to get a new prescription anyway, so I guess it kind of worked out. But, and don't laugh, so I already knew I was getting my hair cut on Tuesday, right? And I, when I lost them on Friday, um, I made an I ended up, long story, I made an appointment for Monday to get my eyes checked and get new frames. And then I thought to myself, I can't go do that yet. I need to get my hair cut first so that I can pick frames and see if they match my do, right? You can't, you have, that's what I have to do. So, um, I ended up getting just a little cheapy pair of readers, $10 readers at Walmart. And it was such a busy week after the haircut, I didn't ever have time to go to the eye doctor. And so I haven't gone yet. So hopefully this coming week won't be so busy, but, um, yeah, it was an eventful week. Um, lots of Valentine stuff and, I spent time with my son, we went hiking, it was just really nice. You know, just sometimes you have a plan for what your week's going to be or what you're going to accomplish and then just the forces that be tell you you need to be doing something else. So it was really nice. My son and I went hiking for two days. We went today and Wednesday and then we had breakfast together. So it was really nice, really great. Sometimes, you know, no matter how old your children are, which I know your moms will agree, no matter how old your children are, they still need that time with you. And I had a, I had a really, really nice time. I see, I mean, my son lives in the same city as me, but we just don't see each other a whole lot. He's always busy. And then he works at night. I work at night and whatever. So, um, yeah, it was a busy week. Um, Walking Dead came on Sunday. It's my favorite show. If, if you've been following my channel, you know, I love Walking Dead would be number one. And who is my favorite character? Daryl. Daryl Norman Reedus. Yeah, that's Maddie. I love you. We have an agreement. He is mine. <clears throat> Saturday through... No, Monday through Saturday. And I let Maddie have him on Sundays. So that came on Sunday. And I, it was a great... I mean, it was a good episode. I love the TV show. It doesn't matter what. I was a little bit disappointed. I was, like, hoping for more. But I'm sure it's coming. So... And then Downton Abbey was really good. That I record and watch it the next day. Um, I try to stay off Facebook now on Mondays because Roxy Fur does spoilers of Downton Abbey. <laughs> you brat. Um, and the following comes on Monday nights. Another excellent show with Kevin Bacon. If you haven't seen that, watch it. It's really good. Really, really good. I love that show. And the way it sounds is like I'm in front of the TV all the time. And I'm honestly not um, in front of the computer on YouTube. So uh, let's see. We talked glasses. I said Hubby didn't like the hairdo. It was a busy week. Um, um, um. 
I think that's about it. Oh, let me just tell you really quick. I want to talk about, and then we're going to say the winners. If you have teen girls and they're getting into lip gloss and makeup, or Matt, Maddie doesn't wear makeup. She, I, We have like the, a rule in our house. You can wear makeup when you go to high school, but she doesn't want to wear makeup, and that's good. I'm glad she doesn't need it. But, um, you know, girls like the lip glossy type thingies, and so Maddie is in love with this product so much that I told her I would share it with you. So if you have a teen girl or even for yourself, because I'm going to buy myself one, I want to tell you about what's in Maddie's makeup bag, her cute little makeup bag that she bought herself. Isn't that cute? She's all gushing over here. Okay. It's by Maybelline and they're all on the news and they're commercials, not the news, they're TV commercials all over YouTube with girls giving their reviews and stuff, but they're called Maybelline Color Whispers. And this, um, is her one and only one and she loves it and the color is one size fits pearl one size fits pearl so it's a really pretty corally pinky color it's really really pretty and what I like about it is that it's more like a um, a lip balm with a little bit of color and so that's good for young teen girls that they, they don't need a whole lot of lipstick or dark colors on their mouth so give them a try she says they're better than, no, wait, wait. She's heard they're better than the Revlon Lip Butter, which I really love. So I might have to steal hers when she's not looking and give it a try because she likes it. And then her second favorite would be the Neutrogena, which I love these, Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks. They're really cool and they smell really, really good. And I really like these a lot. These are kind of the same thing, just but they're really nice. So if you have a teen daughter or just for yourself, give them color whispers a try. How did I do? Good. She just loves these things. Okay, here I'm gonna get <laughs> Okay. What else? Mm -hmm. No, we're gonna say them right now. Okay. Um, real quick, when I talked about the book, the dangerous book for boys, and I said there was also one for girls, it's actually called the daring book for girls. On the video of where I did my embarrassing moment, I put links down below to the Amazon, what I found on um, Amazon with the correct name. So it's the Daring Book for Girls. That's a great book too. Um, and I hope you guys can find them. So I'll put another link down below for this book. So the authors are Con and Hal Eggleden, I-G-G-U-L-D-E-N. It's a great book. And you're so lucky, the winner, you are so lucky because I adore these. I'm going to go back to the Friends of the Library library, and see if they have any more. Just look around because they get books all the time, every day. I love to go in there and check it out. So, Okay, so without further ado, Maddie, can you tell me who the winner of the book is? Is <clears throat> Serenity and Him. Congratulations, Serenity and Him. This is yours. So I'm going to email you to get your address and pop this in the mail on Monday, and you're going to love it. I promise, promise, promise you're going to love it. Okay, and then the Vintage Ephemera. I had two stamps that I found at a thrift store, and I have them here on my desk. One says Draft and one says Confidential. They'd be great for journaling, if you can see that. The other one says Draft, but you can't see that. And then I have quite a collection that I hoard of vintage ephemera and I am going to put together an awesome package for you along with these two stamps. And the winner of the ephemera is Jill Orcutt. Jill Orcutt. Yay, Jill. I'm so happy for you. I'm so excited. Now, Jill did a video response with her embarrassing moment. And Jill, you are a great storyteller. I love your facial expressions. I mean, I loved watching all of you and listening to all of you. Um, but Jill and I have emailed back and forth. We've mess back and forth. We've messaged a few times with other questions. She wanted to know, like how how I did my craft table, and you know, just we we've, we've chatted back and forth through that way. So I kind of feel like I knew, you know, like knew her. So when I saw the video response, it was really nice to put a face to the emails and you're a great storyteller her embarrassing moment was going to the wrong funeral which i thought was really funny so anyhow congratulations to both of you thank you all thank you all of you thanks to all of you for playing along it was so much fun i had a great time doing this and 
I will learn how to video edit so that I can do the drawings live or something. Not live, but you know what I mean. Oh, goodness. One more thing to learn, right? Anywho, I am going to clean up my craft table and hopefully do some fun crafting tonight. I watched a uh, pocket full of vintage Marianne Kensington. She did an excellent, a few like six videos, and then she added two more of book binding, um, creating a book. Let's see if I can grab it real quick. Oh, here it is. She did um, how to create, which I've done before, but I d didn't do it this way. Just taking an old book and making signatures to go inside, which I, I have them ready. I just need to sew in the tags and stuff. But then she taught you how to bind it in here with some stitching. And then she did a couple other tutorials that were awesome. So maybe I get to work on this tonight and finish it off. I hope so. Because this week was just Valentine stuff. So, um, And you know, just sometimes those weeks are just other stuff that take away from fun stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing along. Um, yeah, so happy Friday and congratulations again to the winners. Have a good one. Until next time, bye.